Welcome back everyone to Willstopia. We are back here at the Nether Portal where we are going to be continuing to build our shrine. Last time we built the floor and redid the Nether Portal, got everything into it, and have a nice circle all the way around. Now I need to turn this circle into a cylinder and on top of the cylinder we will have our dome and that's what we'll have for our shrine. Now, we'll begin by defining what our small layer will be like. Actually, I think what we need to do first is to turn this concrete powder into concrete. We have this nice convenient pool here who, and I'm, well, all right, maybe the spirits of the water won't like that. So let's use this here since we have another convenient water source anyway so that's uh why do I hear a zombie probably underground all right I'll assume that zombie is underground for the moment but let's go put up a stack of this stuff make sure I jump in the proper direction when I am finished with it. Actually, it'll give me a chance to have a nice look at the base from high on up. Alright, let's head up. Because I don't very often go this high up and hopefully I'm not such a klutz that I fall off. Because I don't have an elytra on me. There you go. Wow, look at this. Whee! A lot of fog out in the area. And I can't see as far as the ship, but I can see, of course, the carpenter's house and our little way underground. And, of course, there is our little bit of a shrine, but I don't want to jump that way. I want to make sure... Yeah, that is the proper direction to jump. Whee! And pull out the pickaxe. And hopefully I get this right. And when done with this, I should have a full stack of this stuff. Yeah, there is a zombie. There's probably some sort of cave right under this thing where a zombie is dwelling. For now, I'm not going to worry about it all that much. Now, if I were to stay here for extensive amounts of time, and uh, I see a block flowing away down in that direction. Oopsie daisy. Uh, then the admins won't like that very much, but all right. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's put this here. Now, there are seven more blocks. Uh, hopefully, is this the seven? All right. Now, I have my full stack. And now I need to do that for a green stack, and I'll be ready to start my build, right? Now that we have some concrete, let's start on the walls. We need the walls to be, I'll say about the height of our nether portal. And that's one, two, three, four. So we'll go up to four high. Two, th three, four. Good. It's going to be one of those times where I wish that I had some scaffolding around, but I don't have that option at the moment. Let's see, one, two, three. Well, we are going to have to get some crunchies there, unfortunately. There you go. Then we'll do the same thing over here. Yeah. Uh, well. There you go. I'll have to No, I don't want that to go there. That was that was the misplace. All right. Now, once we have that done, we can now here put in 3. Good. Actually, I could just jump down there now. 
and then we do another section here that's in blue and let me just put this in all the way then we can worry about the upper ones after we do the lower ones now here I would like that to be open on all four sides which means not having the dirt so close so let's remove this section right here leave that bit open and then I'll remove this dirt later on so that we won't be blocking the entrance way we'll see how that works if I don't like it I can always close it up later there you go and three there we go. good and just repeat that all around so I'm gonna repeat that around and remove some of this dirt then things might look better actually first let me see what I think about the look here well we very definitely need to open up that side there because we got the nether portal here and we will want the nether portal to be seen in all its glory on that side yes much better it frames it perfectly good I think uh, that's exactly what we want now if I had a huge amount of obsidian I could consider making one of those nether portals where it's covered on all three sides but seeing how the idea is not to have as many entries into the nether as possible but to have one section that has a protection from water to help to discourage fire spirits from coming through I think that we should leave it this way because there is a functionality part that is also being considered on the matter we don't want any part of the actual entry through the barrier to be going directly into the flooring we want it of course to go through water in there that's part of the protection scheme of the whole thing now let's see all right that's good over there mm, well that doesn't look as good but that's because that's the side where you're, where you're on the side of the portal instead of on the front of it here you're a little bit higher but you'll be able to see you won't be seeing the top there because we do have the dome to place onto it speaking of which I guess that's the next thing that we want is to start on the dome and the question is what material should we use for the dome we've got die right down here we have the concrete over here now glass may be a good idea to have on some parts of the dome to help with the lighting yeah but may want something to transition into that do we guess we do stay with concrete in which case we we'll use the blue concrete have maybe two layers of that then we could transition into glass of course with a dome you're going to have the real thrill of gradually going in smaller and smaller circles and doing that without scaffolding is going to be real fun the one time where I have built a dome at least that I remember it was done for a base race build back in October and in that case I of course was in creative mode now I had to do this one in survival so we of course while we don't have scaffolding we still have the old school method of just using dirt or something like that for our scaffolding and to make little stairways up now it's time for us to build our dome what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dirt layer here 
for what's on top here. Then I'm going to build the actual next layer of the dome, the next circle going in. So I'm going to have circles and slowly going in by in by in. Then I'll remove the dirt, then go up to the next layer. There might be a better way of doing this, but I do want to make sure that I am able to connect it all in. So here we have the dome going on the first layer. Now we need to go to the circle that's some of it's going to be on here and some of it of course is going to be slightly in and then we'll have to have each circle going around so now for the next circle which is going to be in blue concrete what we'll do here is to start out with five here we'll go to the size of this one and yeah this will go in to that way one here actually this one looks like it's straight around I seem to have outlined uh, that one perfectly based on the what I wanted to do next what I'm doing is I'm doing a series of circles I have a circle here that I go one in for the next circle etc there will be some cases though is where it's not going to be this obvious and just be exactly one on the inside of what's from the previous one. Of course, maybe will prove me wrong and that turn out to be true, but I think that there'll be some cases where you'll have two straight up or something like that because of the way the resolution works here. Now let me get rid of all this and we could build the next layer of dirt, then the next layer on that because the first circle is has a radi no a diameter of 15. The second one now 17 is the is the outer one. The one I just built is the one that's at 15. That means the next one's going to be 13, then 11, and then 9, all the way up until we have a single one on top. This will be our last opaque layer, and just like the previous one, it is actually fitting in exactly what I want. Maybe this isn't going to be as tough as I was imagining. So, of course, the next layer after this is going to be in glass. I think on the right color for the glass. I'm, not, I'm thinking of doing a oops, light blue glass instead of this because this one right here. Should I try light blue or should I try turquoise? Well, one or the other. I'll, I'll see what happens if I try light blue. And see how that looks. I decided to go with light blue stained glass. Now we go into the next layer. Now here things are going to be a little bit different. As you see right here we have a little bit of a gap. So that's why I need to... Ooh. Looks like a denizen from the world of fire has broken through. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to bring out the militia to deal with him. He's not supposed to be here. He snuck through somehow. Let me get down here. We've got this and we've got this. I'm going to need a lot more in glass it looks like. But we also are going to be one fewer. Hi! Oh, there he is. Hello there! Thank you for your gold. There you go. Ha! <sighs> Done with that. But yes, we have there. So the question is, do we fill that in with should I fill it in with the concrete or should I fill it in with the glass? I think I'll fill that in with the glass. So that's the thing, because I knew that I would have to make some adjustments somewhere on a couple of the points.
and I wasn't sure what it was, but I think it's time to find out. After looking like this, I decided that the concrete, doing it on the concrete would be a little bit rounder than the than doing it on the glass. If I'll do that there, I'll probably make the judgment that we're going to run to, I'm sure, eventually as we go up in the same way. In other words, do the one that's on the diagonal because I think the one on the diagonal would be overall more round than if we squared off the edge on the upper one a little bit. But we'll have to see what happens as we go along. See, that was... Yeah, well, we'll just get rid of this. But at least if I miss and accidentally hit the glass, this is a silk touch shovel, so I won't be breaking my glass in the process. Or at least I'll get the glass in return if I do it, rather than getting nothing, which would be what would happen if I didn't have silk, silk touch on this. See how this looks. Yeah, I think I like how that operates. There you go. We have our dome. And we have our interior. Hmm. Maybe I need a little bit more green here. Perhaps I should change the blue that I have on the corners. Change that so that the green goes up all the way up to... Well, at least up to the dome. I'm not going to have a multicolored dome. That may make things a little bit on the tricky side. But I think I should at least have the pre-glass parts of the dome go up in green. And I think that might look a little bit better. Ah, much better. I think that works. And I think that's where we are going to leave it. I will need some banners and the like, but I think I'll need a little time to come up with something for that. So next time we will take care of some decorations inside, probably just some banners and the like. And after that, we'll start to think about what we need to do for the second of the shrines. But that'll be in the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft, Wells Topia.